so I have a baby. The mom was done sitting on the nest today. Both moms. So I have a baby that is hatching. And I thought it would be fun to watch this. So here we are. I think I discovered this egg um, getting ready to, it was, it's called piping. It began piping probably early today, around noon, I would say. Um, piping is when you can actually hear a peep once, I guess, it breaks through the sack inside. And now this is called zipping. So it's been zipping, which means cracking the egg from the inside since this afternoon so this is a big moment right now um, like I said the moms there's two moms there's eight other babies she has been laying on these the first baby hatched one week ago so she got off the nest both moms got off the nest today and this thing this little baby has been there by itself the others uh, seven no six more eggs on the nest and the mom was just, yeah, that was her time. She's been on the nest a week over. So this is a big moment. I'm hoping it's a little Polish hen but I'm not sure because we have a bunch of different kinds of hens. And they all kind of like to lay their eggs in the same nest. And so when the mother went broody, they had all been laying eggs in there. And you could see this is number 13. Whenever we began to mark the eggs, there was 29. <laughs> but, um, a lot of them weren't fertilized. Half of them weren't. Well, I wouldn't say half. I would say 12 weren't. So this little baby's been working all day to get out of here. It is zipping. Maybe that's what I'll name it, Zippy. We have one Polish hen, and I'm just hoping that this is what it is, is a, a Polish hen. They have feathers on their head. I'll show you Profi. If it has feathers on its head, I'll show you its mom, Profi. It would make sense, because Profi does her own little thing. She just walks around the yard by herself. She gets hen pecked. She's just, she's funny. Zippy, come on, little baby. It 
it was funny. I went on to YouTube to see how can you tell whether the eggs are good or not. Because like I said, the mom got off the nest. And there were seven more in that nest. And um, she already hatched. They hatched eight. And so I was watching a few YouTubes. And they said that if you tap on the egg first off, and you can hear it making noise, then there's still life in there. The baby's still alive and thriving. So I took the first egg and I tapped on it, and I heard nothing. I'm like, what kind of sound are you supposed to hear? Like, what, it, what does that even mean? So then I tapped on this little baby here, this egg, and I heard something, and I, I knew I heard something, but I didn't know what I heard. So then I went through the rest of the eggs and I tapped on them and nothing, I heard nothing. So then I picked this one back up and I tapped on it and I heard it peep. I'm like, what? It peeped. Oh, it broke a piece off. Come on, Zippy. You're doing so good, little Zippy. And, oh, look, it's coming, it's coming. The temptation is to help it, but you cannot help it. It has to, that's where it, gain, it gains its strength by letting it, it has to break out itself. And in doing so, it gains strength. It was funny because I had one, um, oh. Come on, little Zippy. I had one uh, hen that was laying on the nest today, just a random hen, not one of the mothers, not one of the broody ones. She just wanted to go in there and lay her an egg. And so I saw that she had tucked a few of the other eggs underneath of her. And so I put this one under her wing. And so she laid on it for a good probably three or four hours until she went nuts because she laid an egg and then got off the nest and I'm like, ah. Oh, broke a piece off. Come on, Zippy. It's almost like watching paint dry. Like, this is the most action we've had all day. The first crack in the egg was like, a, it was sh shaped like a little kite. And it was just a dent, a little bit of a dent. Oh, there was the beak, I saw it. And so this is the most action all day. Come on, Zippy, you can do it. I see you in there. I see you in there. You get light. Oh, there you are, look. Come on, little baby.
I grew up on a farm and I've never seen this ever. This is the first for me. That's why I'm sharing it. It's almost like God gave me this present too because like I said, eight other babies have hatched and I didn't see any of them hatch. And the mom got off the nest and was done. Come on, Zippy, you can do it. This is like the last paint of coat. I mean, the last coat of paint whenever you go to paint and you're like waiting for it to dry. <gasps> and then it's almost done. <laughs> come on, baby, come on. I don't know if you could see it better here. I still have a feeling this is going to be a little Polish hen. I hope, I hope. Come on, Zippy, you stop moving. What are you doing? There you go. Yeah, come on. That's hard work busting out of an egg, huh?
must be taking a break right now. Are you okay in there? Hey, little baby. I guess you need time lapse with this <laughs> so you can. Oh, there we go. Come on, little one. Yeah, come on. Speed it up. <laughs> yes. Good job. I hear you. I think it's going to be a, a little white yellow one. I think that's what I see in there. Oh, come on, little one. Come meet me. Look at you. You're doing so good. Yes, you are. You're working hard in there. Hi, baby. Cheeky. Oh, I see your beak. There's your beak. A little bit more to go. You can do it. Come on. Come on.
Come on, Zippy, you can do it. Good job, that's it. You're making a big, huge crack in there. Ooh. This is amazing. God's miracle of life. So amazing. Come on, Zippy. Last night we had to try to put the other babies back in. It was so crazy. They're so fast. The moms bring them out. And then they can't get back in, and it's like, oh no. They slip out through the fence. They're so fast. They're like this little blob of, like, yellow. <laughs> It's so neat how the egg just kind of cracks along the same area. You could just see it breathing like it's so tiring. See it breathing in there? You know, there's such a allegory with the struggle. As the baby's struggling to get out of this egg, it's gaining strength. Sometimes in our struggles, we gain strength. And sometimes it's the only way to make it to the other side. I mean, this baby, you can't have any intervention. It has to do this on its own.
It's so close. <laughs> Come on, little baby. You can do it. Looks like it's got a different colors. I see brown and I see yellow. I am going to have to pause this in a few minutes to go make sure all the other chickens are in the coop. But I'll come back. I'll give it a few more minutes. Because I have all those babies. There's eight, there's seven babies, no, eight babies. And um, last night we had to pretty much catch them all to get them in the coop. Because they just go crazy and they're so fast they're like a little blur of yellow and if it gets too dark I can't <laughs> see them there's three there's one one black one and two brown ones and they blend in like to the scenery so much I wonder if I could just kind of put the phone there.
Okay, I'm going to try to get this phone adjusted so that I can keep recording while I go get the peeps put away. Let's see. peeping outside so that's why I have to go moms are probably okay so you guys all watch this for me I'm probably gonna miss it but I have to go get the peeps put in so okay you guys are watching I'll be back
Wow, we haven't made much progress, have we? <laughs> Are you gonna come out, little baby? Oh my goodness. Have bug watch, she will love it. What? What, Diane? Oh my goodness, every one of the baby peeps were out. I had to crawl underneath the chicken coop to get them. Oh my goodness. Babies. And you haven't done anything. Come on, you. Yeah, come on. Look at that. <laughs> Gina, was he was the baby sleepy not moving? Oh goodness. Come on, little one. As soon as it breaks out of here, I'm gonna go put it underneath the it's both of the mothers are in there now and all the little siblings, so oh my goodness. Come on. No, you can't help them, Joanne. If you help them, that um, it'll, you'll harm them. That's where they gain their strength when they have to bust out of there. There's strength to be found in the struggle. Oh, I know that was, have you ever seen this happen? I've never seen a baby hatch before. I mean, I've had chickens all my life, but I have never seen a baby hatch. Come on, come on, you can do it. I gotta wash my hands. Aw, okay, come on, baby. I know, I always have Caleb playing on in the um, coop. Come on, little sippy. And so they're probably used to sound. Come on. I know, I noticed that it was peep. I had taken it outside in this little, because like I said, both of the mothers were off the nest, and they were wandering around in the yard today with all the other babies. And so all the eggs just were there, and I didn't know if they were any good, so I YouTubed it to see what, how you find out if the eggs are good. And um, you're supposed to tap on them first. And when you tap on them, if you hear a sound, you know there's still life in there. And so I tapped on the first one and I heard nothing. And I'm thinking, how, what are you gonna hear? <laughs> so then I tapped on this one and I, I didn't hear a peep, but I heard like it sounded like, gosh, it sounded like, what can I, I was gonna say bones crunching, but it just sounded like movement. Like you could hear inside something was going on. It sounded different. So then I did it to the rest of the eggs and I could hear nothing. And um, so then I tapped on this one again. And when I tapped on this one, it peeped. I'm like, oh my goodness. And I looked it over and I saw a small little cr um, crack. Like, a, it wasn't even like a crack yet. It was just, you could see that it was trying. Um, it was starting to work its way out. It looked like a little tiny kite, like indentation of a kite. And um, so then I YouTubed it and it said that when you can hear them peeping, it means piping. They've begin, begun to pipe. And that means that they've eaten through, they've broken through the sack in there, and now you can hear them. And then this is called zipping, whenever they actually break out of the egg. And so, that's what this, that's why I'm calling it Zippy. I'm like, we're just gonna name this little one Zippy, because <laughs> Zippy was not so quick. This has been going on all day. This is the most action we've seen. And one of the other hens was laying on the nest. They all like to lay on the um, same nest. Thus, that's why whenever you saw there was a 13 on this egg because she was like, you need to mark those eggs. <laughs> and so when I marked them, there were 29. I'm like, oh my goodness. And so we then we candle lighted them. Oh, come on, little baby. We candle lighted them and um, 12 of them were regular eggs. And what you could see through the light in the egg was veins. 
and it was really cool. So there were 18 that we put back and eight have hatched. There were seven in the nest today, unattended, and mom's just got off the nest, which she's been laying for 27 days. It takes 21 days for a, a baby to hatch or so. <laughs> so this one is the or so. And she's laying on the, all the other eggs now, but I don't know. I heard nothing in any of those. And then they say to, um, what do they call it? Where you dip them, dip them, dip them in water. Now, if I would have dipped this one in water, if I would, if I would have dipped this one in water with the crack, it would have killed it. That's why they, you're supposed to tap on them first. And when you hear noise, and then you look it over, make sure there's no defects or anything in the egg, or any cracks. So none of those had cracks, noise, or anything, but they floated the way they were supposed to. 15% of the egg is supposed to be above water, and so they it's possible that those other ones are about to pipe. <laughs> Diane, were you able to um, tag Fantasia? Alice would love this. This would be, this is, this is like the best kind of science class ever. See how hard it's breathing? I don't know if you could see that, Joanne, but it struggles to break out and that's where it gains its strength. So it, it, it fights, it gets tired, it rests. And it's the same with a butterfly. You cannot help a butterfly break out of the cocoon either. You'll kill it. Come on, Zippy. You can do it. And being a nurturer, like when I saw the first hairline crack in this baby, I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do? So what do you do? Whenever you have another hen laying on a net, the nest, you just put it up underneath of the wing. That's what I did, this egg. <laughs> Until she laid her egg and she left. I'm like, hey. Then I put it back in here and here we are. This is our third year of chickens and um, we've never We've never hatched them before. I bought them before at Rural, Rural King and Tractor Supply. We've never hatched. It's the craziest thing to tap on an egg and you hear beep beep. You're like, whoa, that's crazy. So anyhow, earlier today, what I did is I had it in here and I, I figured maybe if I took it to the moms, they know they could hear it. They'd do something. No, all she did was rolled it out of the, uh, she rolled it out of there with her beak. I don't know. Maybe we could try to save it, try to save this, and then you could show it to her later. I'll share it later and then try to save it onto my YouTube so you could show her. It's amazing. So amazing. Look, it's starting to get a little bit stronger. I was very impressed with Royal King because they can sex, they can sex them. And what they do is they look at their wings and they could tell the difference. Hey, Aunt Sue, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> Here we are, we didn't get very far. <laughs> Which I should be sexing the babies out there, but I can't tell. They, they don't hold so, still long enough for me and I don't wanna hurt them, so their wings are so little. But yeah, Royal King is great. That's where I got, I'm hoping there's, this baby's a Polish hen. Um, we have one Polish hen, we named her Profi, and she's like, she is so funny. She is just, I can't even explain her. She's got feathers on her head. And um, they would hen peck her, cause she's just like, she can't see her. She, she's just, she's just marches to the beat of her own drum. And so the other hens would hen peck her, and so she has a little bit of a bald spot. And so we bought blue coat and sprayed her. 
and she looked like a punk rocker chicken. <laughs> so, but she's so fun. She's a funny chicken. So I'm hoping this is, I'm hoping that she snuck her baby in there, you know, seven days after the eggs were in there and that's what's going on with this baby. It would be hilarious. Come on, little one. Come on. I saw two of them, like, right after they were out of the egg. And they're so frail looking then. And, um, because they're just wet and they're, they're tired from breaking through the egg. And, uh, the one I brought in the house and I'm like, Steve, what are we supposed to do? I think the mom's rejecting it. He's like, go put it back. So I put it back under a different, the other mom. And when I went back out, it was all fluffy and happy and chippy. Come on, Zippy. Come on, baby. Yeah, you um, have all kinds of adventures when you have chickens. So, Zippy and Chippy. <laughs> oh, it's sad. I had a Chippy and Daily. Um, they were little bantams and I lost them to something. I don't know what happened, but so they were Chippy and Daly because they look like Chip and Dale chipmunks. And so, you know, when you can't tell them apart, you just name them something like this baby's mom, one of its moms is salt and the other one that looks just like it's pepper, salt and pepper, you know, that way when you say, hey, salt and pepper, they look the same and you're not messing anything up. <laughs> so Chippy and Daly were my Chip and Dale looking peeps. They were bantams. It's it's getting stronger. It's amazing. I know this is probably TMA TMI, but like they go to the bathroom in there and everything. Like they just kind of hang out and live in there until they're out. It's crazy. You can imagine its little feet kicking the kicking it as it moves and struggles to try to get out. You're doing so good, baby. Come on. See how hard it breathes? It's so tired. Oh. Is that a good angle? Do you want me to move the camera a little bit or is that a good angle? can't tell. Ooh. You're doing so good. It's so tired. Look how heavy it's breathing. Poor baby. Oh. So crazy. This one's a different color. I don't know whether it's going to be brown or red. Definitely not white. Oh, I heard the egg crack some. It's getting louder. Those babies out there, oh my gosh, they're so fast. I'm trying to pick them up and they're like zip out. 
gone. And then they pop through the fence. They fit right through the chain link fence. And you're like, you think you have it in your hand and it's air. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's so cool, isn't it? And Kathy, it's so cool. Steve's missing all this. He has to work tonight, midnight, so he'll have to watch the video. <laughs> He's sleeping. It's getting there. You're doing so good, little baby. I had no idea how the other ones were going to react to the baby peeps either. And, um, they're all just chilling. Actually, when I went out there and the babies were screaming their head off, the moms were clucking. They were up in the nest. And all the other chickens, the hens were looking at me like, are you going to get there? You're going to get these babies and put them to bed? He, he may be up in time. What do you mean? He may be up in time. Oh. I heard the egg crack again. Oh, yep, it's cracking on the one side, not too long. Hi, Tammy. You gotta let Maddie see this. Hi, Diane. I know, isn't this so cool? Like this was a total surprise to me today. And of course I can't leave well enough alone. If there's any hope in saving anything, I have to save it. I know the good stuff's going to be happening now because it's not, it's almost halfway cracked out. It's, it's feather, the feathers are the same color as the straw. Maddie, isn't this so cool? Have you ever seen anything like this? I've never seen this before. Oh. 
Oh, it's so close. Kaylin, I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. That's why it's named Zippy. <laughs> Kaylin and I thought it was going to be like early. Whenever we first saw the crack, I FaceTimed her. Whoa, it just cracked. The egg cracked more. I'm like, I call you whenever something starts to happen. <laughs> and here we are, 8 o'clock. Almost 9. That's what I said. Oh, oh, I think that's its little head, actually. Yeah, Kaylin and I were guessing on when it was due, like the babies were gonna be hatching. We had a, two casualties. Because, like I said, all the hens like to lay on the nest. And so somebody got in there heavy-footed and two of them didn't make it probably at 10 days in and 14 days in. But, you know, there were like 32 eggs in there, so. It is so close. Oh, my goodness. Two more little kicks and nothing's out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it cracked the more the egg. Hi, Tara. Just hanging with the peeps, you know? Ooh. I know, it's so close, right? I just, like, it takes everything to not intervene. Oh. <laughs> to intervene. Look at that. Oh, is that a wing? Oh, 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 what's happening? Is that too close? Let's go back a little bit. Nope, you didn't miss it, Joanne. <laughs> you didn't miss it. Zippy's just still busting out. Hey Sid, look, you're you're just in time, Sid. Oh, look at the head! Oh, hi. Look at its head. Hi, baby. Are you a profi? I think you are. Hi, hi, little one. Hi there. You are the cutest. Hi. Hello. So glad you can make it into this world. <laughs> you tired? That was so much work, huh? Hi there. Are you saying, are you my mother? Oh, look at you, yes. That's it. You got this. You got this. Hi. Look at your feathers on your head. <laughs> You're so sweet. I know, look at you. Oh, oh, you're doing it. You're doing it. Look at your little feet. Hi. Hi there. You and I have been hanging all day, huh? I didn't give up on you. Hi. Hey there. What? You got something in your mouth. Just a little hey. Hi. You're so cute. Welcome into the world. It's bright, huh? Is it bright? 
<laughs> you're looking at me, aren't you? Oh, you're going to eat stuff. Look at you, feisty one. Hi. Now you got to kick out of there, huh? You could do it. You could do it. Go ahead and kick it out. Look at you, little one, you did it. Hi. Hi there. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. You out? Is it out? I don't want to touch any. I don't want to do it. Yeah, you have to do it. You did it. Look at you. Hi there. Hi there. I'm tired now. I'm not going to pull anything. You got to get that off. I'm not. There you go. There you go, baby. You did it. You did it. Yes, you did. Okay. Hi. I know, right? I see the Parmesan cheese right behind it. <laughs> this is what you call not knowing what's going to happen. Whoa, baby. Okay, you're out. You're out. You're out. All right, there you go. There we go. We're good. Okay. Wow. It did it. Do you guys want to see the inside of the egg? It's gross. <laughs> Hi there. Here, we'll put this little in you for now to make you think you got your mom. This is what, this is a little feather duster. And, um, Baby, what are you doing? Hi there. Hi there. Look at you. Yes, hello. Hi, hi. Tomorrow I'll let you see what it looks like. It's going to be all fluffy and I'm going to take it out of here. Yeah, we'll put it right on here. The heating pad. It's trying to crawl on me. Okay, here. There we go. We're going to do that. Okay, well, I'm going to go put it with its mom now um, because this was so beautiful. Thank you for sharing this with us, and we will see it tomorrow, okay? Say good night to everybody, Zippy. He's full of energy, and I'm, I don't want to. Zippy, what you doing? Whoa. Okay. See you guys. Bye. I gotta.
move my hand long enough to turn it off. Okay. 